and we are marking certain landmarks here now first is palpate the iliac crust so this is the iliac crust this is the top of the iliac crust so this is the top of the iliac crust and this is the posterior sphere iliac spine is represented by a dimple here all right so this is represented by a dimple somewhere here right so we will draw a part of the iliac crust from here from here to here right so this is the iliac crust here so i will select a point that is the my technique top of the parabola take a midpoint of this this so this is the midpoint here so from here i will approach the lumbar plex uh, lumbar plexus now from the posterior pill i spine so just palpate it confirm it this is the dimple here this is the dimple here and from here the outer margin of the posterior superior iliac spine this is the iliac spine from this outer aspect just three finger widths below somewhere here draw a parallel line to midline so this is the the midline so draw a parallel line so three finger widths from here to somewhere here so this is the point of entry for the sacral plexus block so this will anesthetize the lumbar plexus this will anesthetize the sacral plexus i have already sterilized this area just anesthetize these two points by puncture in the central line inject subcutaneously then come to intralumbar plane all right second point is here inject subcutaneously then doing with doll make it intralumbar this is painful i'm giving this block first again reconfirm i think the top is give me the cup okay. so this point will be little medial so this is the back muscles here here insert the needle insert the needle 5 to 10 degree medially so from here insert the needle 5 to 10 degree medially little give me feeling insert it and remove this till it you will have give me feeling in a superficial plane don't inject it here so just insert it this springy sensation of the muscles go go further yes so there is no resistance take 20 ml of local anesthetic solution connect it here stabilize it and nothing is there again aspirate nothing is there rotate the needle aspirate again inject keep watch on pulse so this is the swas compartment block with my own technique aspirate again and then inject now check the regurgitation of the fluid now just remove it and this much amount the needle is inside a sacral plexus block so insert the needle from this point in down and out this is already anesthetized so just puncture the skin now the needle is down and out little down and out remove it i have taken a small syringe for the resistance and connect it and move inside 
little down and out yes there is no resistance and the fluid is coming you connect it here this syringe and aspirate and inject the 20 m 20 ml of the solution aspirate again to avoid any accidental intravascular injection now this block is complete and see for the regurgitation